Hey everyone, this is Robert, aka Bob Pacino, bringing you another Grand Turismo 7 gameplay video. And this weekend was huge for the Grand Turismo franchise as they celebrated their 25th year anniversary. With it, they kicked it off in a huge way, uh, having three end of year championships spanning a four days in Monaco. And for the rest of us sim racers that could not go and compete, they gave us two events and four contests essentially, um, which are just simple questions to answer that we could win prizes. Unfortunately, I missed one of them, so I only get three if I got the answers correct. I'll find out in a few days, I believe. But to start this race off, we're gonna we're gonna be in the manufacturer's cup in the campaign mode giving us essentially a taste of what the racers in monaco experienced i suppose was the idea and here i'm driving the subaru brz gt300 pretty solid car uh, good handling started on the racing softs you don't have to change tires uh, there's no requirement for that in this race. Um, but overall, this car's pretty quick. And the computers... Oh, well, this is... Um, medium mode or whatever. Um, so they're not... They're difficult enough. Sometimes they do ram you. Um, but otherwise, you know, you just keep trying at it. This is not my first attempt. Um... Uh, Reason being, what the weather changes pretty drastically. Um, it becomes really heavy rain, and uh, that really messed me up a couple times. So, well, we, here we are. We start in 13th. Now we're in 11th. We're just, you know, gonna keep pushing. Not worry too much about uh, fuel saving just try to get through the pack as cleanly as possible without too many uh, too many penalties you can see it's not too difficult to get a trophy uh, well of course you have to be the first to get the gold but otherwise you know it's fairly easy to get silver or bronze if you're within the, that range you don't actually have to come in second or third to get silver and bronze trophies. The issue, the only main issue with this car, the BRZ, is that it doesn't fare well in the long straights. Uh, where it does does really well is in the in the twisty bits where there's lots of turns but a pretty fun car to use so this is this is one event that was uh, that was brought to us by the from the uh, 25th anniversary uh, there's also the Nations Cup, and also Ferrari brought out their new uh, VGT car, I believe it is, which which looks really nice. They actually brought made one in real life and in uh, game for the game. I don't. I think you just have to you have to buy it at some point. You don't get it for free. But if you do complete the Manufacturer's Race and the Nation's Cup Race in the campaign mode um, from this anniversary uh, event, you do get, I believe you do get a, like a Group 1 car, which, which, I, which I did receive already uh, with their 25th anniversary livery.
sitting there with the Honda. Yeah. Anytime you can, just try to get in the slipstream with this car. Oh, I guess I went a little, a little over the line. Got another penalty for one second. That turn, turn one, I don't know, I'm still not great at. Sometimes I can take it really well, sometimes I don't. Um, probably doesn't help that the tires are probably one a quarter done. Still surprisingly pulling away from the Nissan, the, the GTR. You can see it's it's not really that hard of a race. You know, if you use the full full track, you know, and you push at the appropriate times right out of the turns, that this track is pretty fun. See the weather starting to change on us. Yeah, it looks like it's starting right now officially. We should be able to get into the pits without too much issue as the rain has just only started to fall. So the oils in the track really haven't come up all that much yet. I'm still being cautious. You see, you see sort of on the track that there's parts of it that have a ton of water on it. I'm paying my penalty now. But we're in a pretty good spot, I believe. And we built up enough of a gap from the GTR behind us. And we're slowly Getting closer to the guy, uh, to the uh, to Magna Mang Mangano in front. Yeah, that was rough. Just heading into the pits. We don't want another penalty. Just go straight to the wets. No point. It's not dry. It's it's way too much water for the intermediates. Most of the drivers in the front are still on their slicks, whether it be soft, medium, or hard. So we should have a huge advantage. For the next lap. Until they decide to change their tires. The, the power output to conserve some fuel. Because the first three laps or so, we did burn a lot of gas. As we go through the track, just remember, try to stay off the curbs as much as possible and even the white lines. Those areas will be very, that those portions of the track will be very slippery. Oh, yeah, we lost it. Just like the GTR. GTR and everyone ahead of us are still on the slicks. 
So they're going to struggle the most. So this gives us a huge opportunity to try to move up the pack with only six laps to go. And it doesn't look like there's any... It doesn't look like it's going to dry up anytime soon. So unless they put on their wets, this race is ours. Yeah, squeeze on by the Mazda. Look how slow everybody's going. Toyota. Volkswagen. BMW. AMG. Mercedes. Who are already in first. And pretty much the race stayed like that um, the entire time. Soaking track, heavy rain, no one else really changed tires. But when they did, it was already too late for them. They were already way too slow. And that's it. Hey, please subscribe and if you like the, if you like the video. And I hope to bring you another one soon. All right, catch you later.